Bethesda Lutheran Communities is a nonprofit organization that creates employment opportunities for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Joining me today is Becky Lavelle, a job developer with Bethesda, and Mary Metlock, who is supported with Bethesda Job Coaching and also a stewardship representative in the development department. That was a mouthful, but I'm so <laughs> glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> Lots We're to talk to about. Here. So we're going to get to talking a little bit in a minute, Mary, about what a stewardship representative is. I'm excited to learn a little bit about it, but I want to provide viewers a little bit of context to our interview and talk about Bethesda, 115 years old. Yes, wow. so we just celebrated our 115 years. Um, we are currently in 13 different states and we provide services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Really great. So let's talk more about your role as a job developer and what that means. So I assist people with, with disabilities in finding employment. So my job is to go out to different companies, employers, talk with them, make a relationship with them, and um, hopefully be able to carve out a job for someone or you know just have them be hired on. So um, my, my role is mainly to provide that or be that liaison between the employer and the job seeker. Very good. I think that's really helpful. So you can kind of match skills exactly. to what the job might need. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is that employers sometimes hesitate to give somebody with a disability a chance at a job opportunity? More often than not, it's just because they, they don't know. Um, there's a lot of, they think that there might be a lot of risk involved, um, that they might have to spend a lot of money for accommodations, that kind of thing. And more often than not, you know, accommodations are fairly cheap, mm -hmm. um, less than $500, um, if they're even needed at all. And let's talk about the, the benefits, some of the positives. Why should an employer provide an opportunity? What do they stand to gain? Well, everybody deserves the chance to work. So um, studies have shown that companies that employ people with disabilities often have um, more revenue come in because people patronize those businesses more often. Um, people with disabilities have shown that they're some of the most loyal and productive um, employees. You know, I've even read some statistics about the employee satisfaction within the organization, mm -hmm. that sometimes that can have an impact on those already working there. Absolutely. Um, a lot of times, people with disabilities, they're so eager to work and they want to be there, so it makes their coworkers want to be there a little bit more too because they bring that positivity. Absolutely, I love that. I want to talk to you, Mary, a little bit more about your role with Bethesda. And I have in my notes that you're a stewardship representative. What is that? Um, a stewardship representative. Somebody who works in the mail room and does thank yous and certain other things and stuff. That's <laughs> awesome. So what is it that you like about the job so much? Um, well. That's assuming you like your job, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> They make it feel like home away from home and they teach me certain new different things every day. That's wonderful. Uh, what do you think for you having a job, how does that feel? Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> wonderful, isn't it, to be able to be employed. Why do you think it's important for somebody that has a disability to have a job? Um, so they can feel like an equal like everybody else and get to experience it all. You bet, absolutely. Do you have any career goals beyond um, what you're doing? Yes, to still be working. Yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. Continue working, continue doing what you're doing. And um, let's talk a little bit about maybe why other people with disabilities who might be afraid to explore employment, what would you say to them? Um, to not be afraid and just get out there. Yeah. Yeah. Just jump in, <laughs> make it work. Well, I love that and we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I also want to talk about National Disability Employment Awareness Month. There's a lot of mouthfuls <laughs> in yes. this interview, but we just celebrated that, is that yes, right? Yes, um, we celebrate that every October, and that's just a time to, to kind of get out there and let employers know what we do and um, what we can help with and provide, and it's something that 
we do all year. It's not just during the month of October, but that's whenever we really, really focus in and, and get the call out for employers to give people a chance. Absolutely. And there's a lot of support that is provided to employers along the way. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm very impressed with that. I'd love to dive into that a little bit more on another interview. But if, if somebody's watching that is an employer and is interested in learning a little bit more or considering hiring someone with a disability, what can they do? Um, well, at Bethesda, so we have a free downloadable resource guide, um, www.bethesdalc.org slash employer guide. And there's so many things that you can, um, links to, to click on, resources, everything. And I would say just go to that and start, you know, diving in. Yeah, absolutely. You'll learn a lot in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Becky, Mary. It's Thank been a you pleasure so much. having you. We're Talk Wisconsin, and we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 